What's up everybody? I'm Trent Weldon with Well Done Tanks. Welcome back to the fish room. Today I am showing you an upgrade I did on a previous project that has now made it way more efficient than I ever could imagine it would be. So it's nice to finally be back in the fish room uh, filming, working on projects that I want to do that we're working on together. So what we're focusing on today is the, the DIY fry system that we recently, recently-ish built here in the fish room. So it's the, it's the trays. Um, this idea, you know, it, from what I know, it originated from Dean. You know, Master Breeder Dean, he works at the Aquarium Co-op on a lot of things. So he talked and showed his fry system. And right now I have my air turned off in the fish room just so I can, you can hear me a little better, audio's a little better, and I can hopefully show you what I want to do with it here. But it's, previously we ran this system using the quarter inch push connect fittings. And it, it, it worked. It wasn't a bad thing. It worked, right? We ended up using some needle valves and we were able to attach acrylic quarter inch acrylic tubing to those needle valves to nice give a nice swoop for the water to you know, hit the top of the the water coming in to hit the top of the water on the tray if that makes any sense to help disrupt any surface film but what i found though was when we connected that quarter inch tubing down to the uh the mighty jet nano pump that we're using with that three quarter inch adapter let me show you here okay this is the big old big old mess that we were uh, using on the last system here. So we had needle valves that we would put on each drop down to each tray. And then we attached it to the pump using this, ho they call it like a hose adapter, honestly, here, where it's, is that gonna focus, there we go. So this is a three quarter inch screw to a quarter inch push connect fitting. And it worked perfectly with the Mighty Jet Nano Pump because that nano pump has a three quarter inch thread where you can thread on this and then run, I'm getting on myself all wet here, that quarter inch tubing across into the trays. Now, I like the needle valve option here because it allowed me to really, really fine tune the water coming into the tray. But what I didn't anticipate, and there's been a, a few things here now in this fish room that I've tried and have now adapted it, I did not anticipate that the force of the pump, so the water pumping into that quarter inch tubing, you think that a high pressure pump, when this mounted jet nano pump doesn't pump that much, but you think for a good amount of pressure going into a quarter inch tube, the pressure would be sufficient enough to feed four trays. But that wasn't the case. I started having more and more problems with, I would adjust each needle valve to be where a good amount of steady flow of water was coming into each tray. But then what was happening is that I would come back 24 later and 24 hours later, let's say the next, the following day, and the flow had dramatically dropped to each tray. So it was becoming increasingly difficult in dialing in the system to allow proper water movement through trays. So what we did here is we adapted it to run off of a half inch PVC pipe with the metal airline valves you can find at Aquarium Co-op. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them even on like wish.com. They're everywhere. Threaded into a half inch PVC pipe that then we use some barbed fittings and some flexible tubing down to the Mighty Jet Nano Pump. So now instead of trying to pump into a quarter inch tube, we're now pumping into a half inch tube to a half inch PVC pipe. And all we did was adapt down from a three quarter inch adapter to a half inch you know, tubing and then ran our own water lines here so by now having done that with this half inch tubing and half inch pvc pipe and then all that did was i just used airline to come off each threaded fitting on the metal valve there we now have ample flow to each tray so i was able to adapt this system with actually parts i already had laying around from the fish room build but honestly if you were to buy if you were to recreate this system again using this method instead of the quarter inch push connect fittings I really think this would be a cheaper option for you to do that because what you could do is you don't need this expensive of a pump. If you wanted to find something with a threaded adapter, you can find pumps like that on Amazon for way cheaper. That's like an $80 pump we're using. You could even use a small power head, which would allow you to attach the flexible tubing without any thread adapters. And then the PVC pipe and the few fittings and then the barb adapter, that's all under like, that's easily under $10. So you could recreate this for a lot less money and that's what I realized is using this method here is cheaper than the push connect fittings 
And you know, with the 20 gallon long, I have four trays on here. If I went down to the next smaller size tray, I could get five trays on here. And according to co-op sells the metal airline valves for a pack of five, I think for like five bucks. So it's a dollar a valve, it's not expensive. And now if you look at the valves though, they do not have a rubber gasket fitting on them. So I did, I did it, some experimenting here to see when you thread them into the PVC pipe if they would be able to handle the pressure. And I can gladly say none of them are leaking. And I ran this for a few hours before filming this um, at full pressure on the pump and wide open on all of this. And it's working perfectly. It was, it's working so well now. And I realized that I really hindered myself using that quarter inch, that quarter inch push connect fittings. As nice as it is, and it's great applications across the board for other areas, this is the best way I have found to do this now because I was able to turn the power of the pump all the way down and I can adjust how much flow is coming into these, these tanks that much easier. So it's a very, very efficient way to set this up and I'm glad I did this. And I wanted to share it with you guys so I could hopefully give you another way to build this system because there was a lot of confusion and a lot of saying that on my last rendition of this, the, the push connect things were expensive, hard to find, where you can find all of the items I'm using, Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's. And I, I got the trays from Target. But you can adapt this to however you need it to be without having to get any specialized materials of any of that. So guys, thank you for joining me today. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you with something. I, I say I always want to be educational and entertaining, but also I want to show you that you can do things and that it's okay to experiment. If I never tried using that push connect fitting, we would never know that it wouldn't work as well as I thought it was going to work, right? It worked great for the first, you know, month or so. But as the system started running, I found issues with it. But now I really think with this half inch PVC pipe, tapped in with some metal airline valves and then just using I'm just using regular airline to bring the water down this will be the most efficient this system has ever been so I appreciate you guys joining me on this one and we'll see you again on the next one